be in corporate, there's this underlying assumption that it's all very, very serious and so on. Uh, which means that, you know, it's about hard work and knuckling down and getting to the answer and, and narrowing things and executing and delivering and it's about efficiency and, and productivity and, you know, it's, it's very much about removing the ambiguity to establish your control and make things predictable. And really it's what you need when, that, that's fine if you have a, 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 an engineering type problem, something that's predictable where it's like a puzzle and you're looking for the pieces to solve it. But when you're dealing with most of the stuff that matters, you know, whether it's culture or leadership or innovation or engagement, you know, how you get your people to talk to each other when it's about managing stakeholders, when it's about any of that messy stuff that really is the heart and soul of what you're trying to do. You can't do that reductive process. You can't be in control. You have to embrace the ambiguity and the mess and the fluidity of it and the, and the subjectivity and you know the fact that everybody's got a different point of view. So that's a, a big principle is A, that it's subjective, B, that there's a lot of ambiguity and, and that that ambiguity is really uh, where the juice is. That's where the new things that you're looking for that are going to give you the value live. So that's probably the biggest piece. Um, and that and, and secondly, you know, that piece of not closing down, but you have to open it up. So the, the impulse that I see is that uh, in corporate, you know, the, the people that I work with, they're, they're brilliant problem solvers. They're smart as hell. And they've been problem solving professionally for their entire career. And there's this reflex, you know, when a problem comes up, it's how fast can you slam it down? How fast can you solve it? Because that's how you add value. Uh, whereas, when you're working like this, it's about how do you open up the space and how do you keep it open for long enough to figure out what the real issue is and what's the area you need to be working in and, and how much do you need to take into consideration. So those are, are probably the two. And, and, and just the finally is that play. Um, really, if you're working in, in the middle of a great big mess, you got to be playful about it. You've got to somehow delight or revel in it. And because that mindset's what's going to allow you the fluidity to start coming up with the things that are going to make the most difference.